The next request, now that we have OP zoning in place, is a conditional use permit to allow a residential care facility, or in this case, the expansion of an existing one. Um, in your packet, you see the aerial image that shows the existing facility. You see some vacant lands um, to the east, a little bit to the north. Also in your packet is a site plan um, that shows the two proposed buildings that they're wanting to construct on the site. Um, it includes some site improvements, some rearrangement of the parking, and actually some additional parking. Um, it's an activity center, which is that larger orange building on the north end, and then also a 20-bed um, dormitory-type facility on the east side. Um, so they're increasing from about 50 beds to 20. This requires a conditional use permit and OP zoning. Um, again, Planning Commission saw this as a residential and institutional type use in OP zoning uh, in between residential and commercial areas of development. And so they found it consistent with the conditional use review criteria and they're recommending approval. Did that foot read? Yes, sir. You see the white line that's sort of connecting the two buildings? Is that foot read? Yes, sir. That is a foot bridge across the uh, two mile branch. Matt, did you say, and I may have heard you wrong, did you say they would be increasing the bed spaces from 50 to 20? Correct. The, the new building is a 20 bed facility. 50 to 70. Okay. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not 50 to 20, 50 plus 20. <laughs> I, I did pass math in high school, I promise. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. <laughs> I was just wondering if I was the only one. Yeah, I heard. What did you say? Are there any other questions of Matt on this item? Are there any other questions of Matt on this item? In that case, is anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone who would like to speak in favor? My name is uh, Daniel Anderson with UHS Pruitt. If y'all have any questions, I'd love to answer. Mayor, yes. I think you know, we should say, uh, you know, this is, I've heard it's going to be about a $1.6 million project. Probably uh, until the CEO walks through and then he'll start changing it up, probably uh, cleaning it up a little more. And I'm also assuming that uh, you're going to increase the number of employees? Most likely, yes, sir. No, I just, uh, Appreciate the reinvestment in an area of our town that can use some reinvestment, expanding your business. Thank y'all for being so accommodating. I've been a wonderful group to work with. Your whole city has yeah, really have. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sure. Yeah. So, any other questions uh, at this point? I was using my indoor voice. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Anyone? Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition? Anyone who would like to speak in opposition? Seeing none, Council, what's your pleasure? Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to approve the conditional permit use or the conditional use permit as recommended by staff and everything else included therein. If I miss something, yeah, second. Second. Any opposed? Just, just for clarification, that includes the five. That includes the five. Did you recommend the five? My apologies, Council, in the, the math consideration of 50 and 20. There are five conditions yeah. that we went over at the work session. But you're recommended with five conditions. Yes, ma'am. That is included in my motion those. as presented. Right. Thank you. All right, any discussion? Yeah. All in favor of the motion as stated, please raise your right hand. Motion is unanimous. Thank you very much.